Hey guys, in today's video I'm finally going to take you through the final completion of my train yard that was, I recently started putting it together. People who were in Brickspiration's live stream would actually have seen this already, but uh, now I'm going to show it to you guys. Uh, Brickspiration, I really enjoyed that stream, thank you for hosting that. Hopefully I can be there again one day, and without further ado, let's get into this train yard. Starting on the far side of the table, this is just kind of the area where you park your trucks. Um, I just have multiple trucks over here, such as new ones that I haven't showed on the channel yet. That one I just reviewed. Wix only suggested that I add some mirrors, so I did. And it needed it, and it looks a lot better. You see I also completely tiled it off, because I bought some Legos at a, uh, a uh, bulk Lego. You just go through and you dug through it. Vintage pieces, it was at a bookstore, it was so much fun. It was infested with a lot of fake Lego, unfortunately, but that's a lot of that's where a lot of the bulk that's how a lot of the bulk Lego is like these days. I did not build that. I mean, I did build it. I didn't design it. DeMarco Bricks and Wills actually designed that one. He has a great channel. Go check him out. Hot dog stand. Now this trailer over here, I actually got for Christmas from somebody. I had the idea. It needs to stay over here. It's kind of like a a temporary. Um, living space, I guess, for some of the workers here. It's their break room, that's what it is. Um, kind of the idea, it's an older trailer. Uh, I have customized the inside, you'll see that later. Um, but it does look a lot better. Uh, Exterior-wise, nothing is really different. Uh, you know, nobody really sleeps in it anymore, it's just a break room. So now, uh, as we cross the street, you'll see just kind of a, a street, just through here. Uh, and then here's your railroad crossing that looks very nice. I'm very pleased with how that looks. And this is just a, um, a street just for, for any vehicle. Whether that be just for your public transportation to come through here and drop off your workers, or for my auto carrier to come here and drop off some of the vehicles to be loaded up on a train. This is somewhat of a foreshadowing of a future LEGO project. I would like to build a LEGO auto carrier train car, but those are very parts absorbent, so that won't be for a while. I'd have to order pieces for that for sure. Moving over here, you see the, you know, the, the auto carrier is unloading some vehicles. I've never showed it in that form before. And they're just parking them through here. And then you see there is the control tower, which has been customized not much at all, really. But it's over here, and it's included. If you haven't seen this, uh, this control tower, it has a nice little function. It's so simple, but it works so good. And it's, it's a nice function that I'm glad LEGO included. This layout overall has four areas with switch track such as right here and then you see this one right there and over there and then over there it's kind of behind the auto carrier you can't see it then it is if you've been paying attention you'll think wait a minute mock media you only have three switch tracks well that is simply not right i just mentioned i went to a bulk lego pile and in the bulk lego pile a pile full of Lego bricks, there's a switch track. But no other tracks, just a switch track. So I got a switch track for $3. I mean, how great is that? That's like one of my best finds of 2018. I do realize it's no longer 2018, but I found it in 2018, so it counts as 2018. Luckily, I found my best find of 2018 before 2018 ended. That really didn't make any sense, did it? But unfortunately, it's missing the lever. I couldn't find it anywhere. Unfortunately, it was missing it, but it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, I do have the SD40 parked over here. It is a dummy engine, and that sounds really bad, so I'm just going to call it a static engine. Uh, and what I mean by that is that it doesn't have any motors. So I created its own parking spot, and it gives it a real good look. Um, I have made some changes to it. I'm always making changes to it. Maybe I'll do a video with it eventually at some point. I know I'm going to need to. Um, over here, you see... I just have some parked train cars, uh, some of which are custom, some of which are not. This one is not. However, it does look very nice, and it is surprisingly sturdy as long as the out triggers are in their outer position. This one is sort of kind of custom. That's up for debate. But I thought the original tanker from that uh, 2011? No, 2013, sorry. The, uh, the yellow cargo train, I thought it was too colorful. So, uh, luckily, this is Lego, and you can make your own changes. So I made mine look a little bit less rainbow-ish, I guess. Much to Unikitty's dismay. 
All right, it's kind of hard to see the well car or a flat car or whatever you want to call it. There's so many different names for it. But, um, it's, it's, I mean, I've already done a review on it. So go back and watch that if you want to get a closer look at this one. However, this one is completely custom. Multiple forklifts, multiple different pallets, and a pallet rack for the forklifts to lift up. Because in a train yard, you got to have several different loads for the train to carry. In some cases. Mine's a cargo train, so you do kind of have to have cargo for a cargo train. You see, we do have some people looking at the SD40-2. Looks like a mom and her son, because SD40-2s are cool trains. Um, and just other miscellaneous stuff that really just add to the whole build as a whole. You see there is a counterweight in the back with a working winch and it's a custom one, it's not a set. Um, it's missing a couple pieces here and there. There is a, uh, a control cabin up there and uh, that weight is not there for looks. It legitimately needs it um, because this thing is already about to fall forward and needs some work. And maybe you'll see some updates on that in the future, who knows. And so after this fun look at a Lego train yard, to end it all off, we're going to hook up every single train and every single engine and every single train car, and we're going to run them. So, let's see, back up the powered up one. I've only done this once, this is my first time trying this, so I'm going to pull this one forward. Come on. And yes, the infrared and the powered up trains run very smoothly together. There really isn't too much of a difference as far as the actual speeds go, but it works very nicely. Okay, now let's couple these. Okay, here we go. So we're going to put them both on first speed. Now they're both on second, third, fourth. Okay, there we go. Now we're moving. So that's really the first time that you've seen the SD40 going on an actual track layout. I think it looks great. It bends a lot when it goes on the curves, but it doesn't bother me too much right now. Um, I would like to try a long curves layout. Uh, I know Obrix has been doing some uh, great long curves layout. Go check him out if you want to see some cool tracks. Otherwise, that effectively ends the video today. Thank you all for watching. Um, this is my first like tour video, I guess. I do realize that this is not a big train layout, and I'm not going to treat it like it is. It's a layout that's big enough to have fun with and customize, but it's nothing big. But if you are a LEGO train uh, enthusiast, if you really like the train stuff from LEGO, then you can do it. Now this is years of collecting bricks. I just recently got the powered up train, and I got the, uh, the infrared RC censored, uh, the, the yellow one, when it was new. Um, so once again, I mean, it takes a long time to build up, but the track that you, and this is not all of my track either, the track that came with the, uh, the powered up train was, was pretty generous from LEGO. That was, that was awesome. I really appreciated that. It came with like 16 straights. Only one switch track though, but considering, I mean, 16 straights, they can be pretty valuable to get. So, yeah, that was, that was nice uh, of LEGO to do that. Anyway, yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you want more LEGO train stuff, and I'll see you in my next one.